So first, uh, I hope you can, okay, I didn't share. Let me share you my screen and then. Can you all see the screen? Yes. Some thumbs up? Yes, okay. So let me share my, yeah. Uh, welcome to the first tutorial of week nine again, and then we will, uh, actually you have seen a lot of projects dealing with project management, but we will align the definition and we will try to have a clear understanding of project management. And then we will also discuss another concept, which is agile methodology. Uh, if you are new, we will try to uh, understand the definition and see how agile methodology works. So first we will, uh, we will define uh, project management. So project management, it involves planning, executing and overseeing tasks to achieve predefined objectives, balancing constraints like scope, time and cost. So uh, like the first, the first advantage uh, would be it helps teams to meet deadlines, optimize resource use, and deliver quality results. So, like in project management, it's also uh, a discipline of uh, carefully organizing and managing resources so that uh, in order to accomplish a project in a structured way. Uh, we all know that project is a temporary effort effort with a specific goal so it's uh, usually also involves a lot of several uh, steps or phases so the main aim of project management will be to deliver a project successfully while also considering uh, a lot of other constraints like the scope of the project time and cost so uh, these are uh, these are referred to as most of the time triple constraints so this is like uh, just a, a simple definition of project management the next one would be yeah project management life cycle so in project management we have five different phases the first one is initiation the second one is planning and then execution and then the fourth one is monitoring and controlling and the last one will be closing so first we need in the in the initiation phase we will define project objectives and stakeholders uh, and then while planning while planning the project we will develop schedules budgets and then we will also allocate resources so while we are executing we will deliver tasks and maintain communication with an each team member and then in the fourth phase which is monitoring and controlling we will track progress manage risks and ensure quality so in the last one we will complete the project and review outcomes so uh, these are a main five phases for example if you have a sample project which is which is uh, uh, like building an office for 100 employees in the initiation in the initiation part which is uh, actually uh, the company just let's assume one company which decides to build any a new office space for 100 employees so it will outline its its own objectives or goals so like uh, to create an uh, a friendly office or modern office with uh, like conference rooms and cafeteria and then like a lot of just uh, a clear goal so the second one in the planning phase it will include scope time and cost the one we call the triple constraints and then uh, it will specify the scopes for example uh, uh, using the before the previous scenario which is building one uh, an office for 100 employees it, it can consider the building will have maybe three floors with an estimated uh some uh, like meet, a meter or a carry meter uh, usage of a land uh, and then we can also specify the design which for example we can say uh, it might include open offices, meeting rooms, and cafeteria. 
so like these are the scopes for example if we say like well, the, the building won't have a cafeteria that's also it specifies the scope of the project so the next one will be the time so the, uh, we can say that the project might take 12 months or two years so this specifies the time in the planning so and then the third one which is uh, cost we can estimate the resources that we have for this project for example if you have one million uh one million per or dollar for this project we can allocate that so in the next one which is execution we can break down each and every task and then uh give for the team so uh we can execute the project and then the the next one which is monitoring and controlling the project manager he will uh, track the progress of each team member and then manage risks if there are unforeseen uh, difficulties during the project it, uh, he might also uh, uh, check on this and then we ensure quality so like uh, like he need to hear the project manager he need to make sure that the tasks are done in a, in a in a quality way uh like both on the materials and the quality so like the tasks that are done there's he need to ensure that the tasks are done in a quality way and then the last one complete the project and review outcomes uh, these are the steps basically you can't see my screen right okay so the next one the next one would be agile methodology in project management uh we have a lot of different methodologies in project management so one can be waterfall like in what uh, just to have a simple introduction to waterfall waterfall methodology it is a methodology where you just have a lot of doc documentations about the projects that you are going to do and then you are just going to implement it in, in, implement it so you have a plan so you are going to implement it and uh, give it to the to your customer so uh, but in agile methodology uh, it's a more flexible one it is it uses a iterative approach to manage project and it break it breaks tasks into smaller increments which allows for continuous feedback and adjustment uh, like it helps us to accept customers' feedback and then adjust or uh, make adjustment in the project. So coming to the agile principles, the first one is individuals and interaction over processes and tools. So like we have individuals and a good interaction between the individuals and the second one is working software over comprehensive documentation. So in the, ag in the ag agile methodology, we have it, like we will break the features or the tasks in the project within a sprint we will see what a sprint means but let's assume that if we are working on a uh, on a sample app which have uh, five features we will consider the one feature as a one sprint maybe so for that one feature only we will develop a uh, documentation and then we will do the implementation or the development phase we will pass on the dev execution phase and then last like we will accept a feedback from our customer and then after finishing this sprint we will go to the next one so this is why we call it iterative and flexible the agile methodology so we will have working software while going to the next the next feature uh, over comprehensive documentation uh, while in waterfall for you just to compare and understand what it means, uh, you will you will just have a documentation of all the five features that I have mentioned earlier, and then you will um, you will just develop each five features again uh, during the execution phase. So uh, while in Agile we will have one feature, we will implement that we will have the documentation, and then we will have the implementation also, and then we will accept customer feedback, and then we will make adjustment on the uh, on, on our 
product or implemented project. So the next one is customer collaboration over contract negotiation. So customers can collaborate, as I have mentioned, by giving a feedback uh, about the work of um, about the work of uh, the team. And then the last one is responding to change over following a plan. I have also discussed this. Responding to a change means uh, while the customer gives a feedback, the team will uh, will make a, an arrangement according to the uh, the provided feedback, so that um, there will be uh, the provided product will align with the customer, with the customer's need. Uh, so this is agile methodology, and then you can see over here uh, an image. So let's assume that we have a sprint one, sprint two, and then a sprint three to make one project. And then on sprint one, we will have design, build, test, and review phase. So like we will first design the the projects that we are going to do and then we will build it and then we will test it and then we will review it. So in each of the in in each phase we will have uh, all these things in each sprint we will have all these things like we will design we will build we will test and then we will review and then we will launch and then we will go to the next sprint so like in order to have uh, one complete project if you have three sprints we are going to do all these tasks in each sprint and then the next one is key components of Agile. The first one is sprints. Uh, by means of sp sprints, we mean time boxed iteration. Usually it can take from two to four weeks and then more or less, uh, like it's just an average estimation, which is focused on completing specific tasks. So um, we have, uh, we know that uh, Two features for sprints the first one is uh, we will have different tasks in each and then we know that we will have a timeline for each sprint so they are time boxed iterations the second one is product backlog backlog so in product backlog we will have a prioritized list of user stories and tasks that the team works through so these are called product backlog and then in the user stories, we will have brief descriptions of desired, desired features from the perspective of the user. For example, as a customer, I want to search products by category. This, uh, in the user stories, we will just have a brief description of what the, what the user wants from us uh, in each project, uh, in the project. Yeah, these are the key components of Agile. So while using a lot of different project management tools, also you will have you will find sprint, product backlog, and user stories specifically in Jira, you will find them. And then the next one is the role of a project manager. Uh, we all know that project manager is responsible on the track on the progress of the project and also. Uh, overseeing project progress, managing resources, and ensuring timely delivery. And then the next one is communicating with stakeholders, track tasks, and mitigating risks. So like a project manager, since it's he is just a project manager, is responsible about the project projects, uh, project progress, and then aligning the resources for the project uh, for the project, and then a lot of like different issues related to the project it will be uh, the responsibility of the project manager project manager it can uh, he or she he can he or she can use jira trello or asana to track tasks milestones and team performance so like i think you're familiar with trello so you can use uh, different tools also other than jira trello or asana so that you are able to track tasks of each members. And the next one is data-driven project management. Before I go to this, to this slide, do you have any questions so far about Agile methodology or? Okay, it's a do you have a question? That's right, do you have a question? Okay, is there anyone who has a question?
Okay, at Sanami, you can continue. Uh, good, good, good morning uh, to Taikra. Am I right? Yes, yes. Morning. All right. Good morning. Good. Thank you for the wonderful presentation, and uh, uh, yeah, it has. It, it was really interesting. But my 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 fear now is that it is a project management, and um, uh, so far I'm a bit confused with the agile project. And uh, you are talking about water. Is it water project or water? Water works. I don't yeah. understand. And um, and some of the the backlog, the prints. Uh, please, can you just uh, come again and explain better for me? I I don't still get it. Thank you. Okay, okay. Okay. So uh, I think like uh, you don't have to worry about what are the project. I'm, I'm hearing a voice. That's uh, why maybe can you mute your mic? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you don't have to worry about waterfall uh, methodology. I actually mentioned it for you just to understand uh, the difference, uh, the like a lot of feature uh, advantage that we can get from Agile so that you will be, you will, you will have a good understanding by compare it by com when i compare it with the waterfall so like waterfall is kind of a rigid and uh, you will just go with your plan and then you will you simply you will have your documentation about the project and then you will implement your project and then you will just provide the product for the customer while in agile uh, you will list out your features in the project and then after listing out each uh, each features you will have a document for example if you have three features in waterfall you are going to implement it three of them just together while in agile you will have first phase in which you will implement the first feature and then during that phase you are going to write the documentation and then you are going to implement the first feature and then you are going to turn it into a product and then you are going to accept a customer feedback so that your implementation or the products that you are providing will align with the customer uh, with the customer uh, want so that like this is uh, an agile so coming to the next feature you are going to uh, again overgo with the same steps uh, as the previous one uh, this is uh, the basic difference between Agile and then waterfall uh, methodologies, but coming to the sprint, sprint is it's just time, uh, time focused, uh, time boxed, like time boxed. We can say it's time boxed since we have uh, starting and finishing deadline for one sprint, and then we will have a lot of different tasks during that time. So uh, these two things are included in one sprint. So while you are implementing a project you are going to uh, divide those timelines using a sprint and then in the product backlog it's uh, dy dynamic and it's where you are going to list out a lot of prioritized tasks or features of the product so these are product backlog and then the last one which is uh, user stories in user stories you are maybe like let me share you the slides while explaining yeah so in user stories you are going you are expected to include brief description of the desired features from the perspective of the user so users uh, user stories the first person that's talking in the user stories is the user not the customer or the, the staff members that's going to develop the product. For example, as a customer, I want to search products by category. This is what the user wants, not what the customer, what the team will provide for them. As a team, for example, if I'm a developer in this team, I'm going to say, I am, um, <clears throat> I'm going to include a uh, search for, for product button, uh, in the front in the front end in the home page maybe this is what i'm going to say from the developer side but you are expected in the user stories you are expected to share it from the user side 
at least you have grabs, grasped something at Sanami. Is that okay now? <clears throat> yeah, yes, I, 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 I'm able to get some things. Uh, that, that means the waterfall, the agile, they are just, method, they are just methodologies. Yes. Okay, how about the sprint? Is it a methodology as well? No, 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 no. The sprint okay. is a timeline, just a timeline, timeline. That we are going to use in the methodologies. Okay. For example, as I've mentioned, if you have three features to implement in the Agile, the first feature will take documentation, implementation, and then reviewing. So this whole page, this whole process are included as one sprint. And then we will again iterate and repeat that for the next feature, which will be sprint two. So in this sprint, as already discussed, we will have a timeline. For example, for the first feature, if we have two weeks, that's like starting dates and deadline. So we have a time timeline for the sprint and then tasks. So uh, the first one is feature one. So we will list out tasks that are going to help us implement the feature one. Is that OK? OK. OK. Uh, Roy, you can continue. Okay. Um, I think I don't. I still don't understand what exactly you mean by sprint. Like, okay. what does it, like? Um, yeah. Okay. So I still don't get what you mean sprint. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, for example, let's create one scenario in which you are going, you are developing a task management tool, task management, uh, task management tool. So, like, let's also assume that we have two sprints for this project. We have only two sprints. So, a sprint one will take two weeks. In the sprint one, uh, the focus will be in creating basic features, which are uh, such as task creation, user authentication, and categorization. So these are just a sprint one. It's just a naming which specifies in a project the timeline and the tasks that are done in during that timeline. This is called a sprint together, like the timeline and then the tasks that are going to be done during that timeline. So this is a sprint one. You can say, for example, in the first month I did this, 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 this. So that's called, um, for example, maybe weeks include seven days so these are called weeks so sprints are a timeline which specifies timelines and then tasks so in that project we are going to say for example since sprints we don't know the timeline it might take three weeks four weeks five weeks if it's four weeks we can simply say menses and then we can specify that but if it's three weeks, four weeks, and five weeks, we can uh, specify the timeline of the sprint and then tasks. So I don't know if I make you confused more, but a sprint is just tasks um, in the projects that are going to be done in a specified timeline. So that are called sprints in, in the project management. Is that okay now? Um, I, I guess, uh, maybe, could you use another another word to describe sprint? Is, it, is there another word that would give the same meaning as what you're referring to as sprint? Okay, honestly, like, sprint is a more professional word in the project management world. So I don't think there's another word that's going to substitute sprint, but let us let me finalize the, first, the scenario that I was creating and I hope that you will get the idea. So uh, let's assume that we are developing a task management tool. So in sprint one, which we assume includes two weeks, the focus will be in creating basic features such as task creation, user authentication, and categorization. So sprint one for us is a two weeks long, uh, like it's two weeks long, and then where we are going to implement task creation, user authentication, and categorization. So like 
that those, those three tasks and the different basic features should be done within the two weeks. So this timeline is called a sprint for us in the project. And then the next one, sprint two, which is going, which we plan to be three weeks, maybe it should include uh, the team to work on integrating uh, like a lot of task notification system or other UI improvements. So in a, in a sprint, you always must include the tasks that you are going to do and then the timeline for the for well, for the tasks that you have uh, you have created for that specific sprint. Is that okay, Roy? Can we continue? Yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. 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 So. Uh, I hope we were here. So the next one is data driven project management. Why are you why are we going to use data during our project management? And then uh, the key metrics. So why are we using data? The first reason could be uh, data enhances decision making. It will also help project managers optimize workflows and resources. And then the next one would be performance metrics like task complication, completion rate, cycle, cycle time, and then defect rates, guide adjustments. So like if we have the data about that project or uh, like on how to use the resources that are provided for that, uh, that are provided for that project, uh like the project for the project manager it will be more easy so that uh, like he he or she will be able to uh, estimate the costs and then the timeline for, for for the completion of the project and then the key metrics this will be velocity which is the amount of work a team completes in a sprint so like the amount of work a team completes in a sprint, uh, for example, if we have a data which describes uh, this type of team members uh, have done this project before in this type of uh, like in this timeline, if if uh, like if this uh, under by understanding this data, we can also guess uh, the same uh, the same team how can they finish. Uh, our current project. So like we can estimate and we can make use of the data in order to manage the project. And the next one is burn down chart, which is a visual representation of remaining work over time. And then the next one is cumulative flow diagram, which shows the status of tasks. And also it helps us to identify bottlenecks. We will go to the challenges in managing complex projects. The common issue during managing a project, the first one is a scope creep, which means uncontrolled changes or continuous growth in the project scope. For example, if we just plan to um, to to do, for example, just one application, which just in, which is a chat app, which is able to direct, which is able to uh, create a direct communication between two persons for example if you are assuming that two persons are uh, like uh, in each other's contact for example if i i am able to talk with one person who is in my contact uh, and then like that person also will be able to contact with me if i am in his contact so if we are going if we are developing this uh, specific chat app and then if we got another uh, plan uh, to to grow this chat app specifically, which is to also be able to direct, to be able to talk with them in direct message for other like other persons that are up, like out of our contacts. So this is also one uh, one uncon. This this can be an issue in scope creep. So like you need to be. A specific for your project in related to scope wise so that there won't be any other issue while you are working on your project the next one would be resource overload by resource overload it might uh, it might be like assigning too many tasks to team members which leads to reduced efficiency 
so resource uh, like we don't need we need to compromise what, what uh, which tasks sh should be done by whom and then we need to be able to assign a like a good complete a good uh, alignment between we need to be able to create a good alignment between the teams that are going to work and then the resources that are provided the next one is miscommunication which leads to delays or incorrect task execution so uh, we need to have a good and great communication like communication is uh, a power really like while working in the project it's a power so like we need to have a good and not delayed communication and then the last one is unforeseen risks in unforeseen risks the project manager the project manager should be able to uh, like see uh, what risks should come from this project and then be able to forecast and take a measure on how to control those risks so it might there might be technical failures resource shortages or budget overrun so like the project manager should be ready and in alarm for this type of uh, risks the next one is tools for successful project management there are a lot of popular tools that uh, you can use as a project manager but the first one would be jira jira is most widely used for uh, tracking and agile project management and the next one is trello trello it usually used it's it's usually used for small to medium sized projects and it helps us to simplify task board and uh, the next one is microsoft project it helps us to have a detailed project scheduling and resource management so uh, as a project manager you can use uh, any of the specified tools um uh, in the example it says that like jira it's uh, it's used to manage sprint tasks in trello to track cross-functional team collaboration in parallel work streams okay so like the whole idea is you can uh, you can choose and use whatever tools that you're comfortable with and we have a lot of different resources for to understand project manager uh, project management concept and then if you have any question so far you're welcome Okay, Collins, you can continue. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you very much for the that uh, wonderful presentation. Uh, mine is just, I just want to know, I hope uh, that uh, we are going to be shown practically. I know we've done something before on Trello, but uh, it can be shown practically now. Maybe the basics of uh, those uh, tools because they are very important. Maybe for me personally, the Jira, the uh, Microsoft. Uh, <coughs> uh, we can be shown, maybe basic. Uh, I don't know. I'm just asking whether it's part of this, uh, it's going to be part of this uh, week. Uh, so, uh, very key. To project. Okay, Collins. So, I think you have already, um, if you have understand the, co the concept for the time being, it's uh, good to go. So um, for your this week's challenge, uh, understanding the agile methodology concept, it's a good like a good to go. And then for the Trello, Jira and uh, Microsoft project, maybe we'll have uh, another uh, document, a uh, challenge documentation coming on, I hope so. Uh, since we have already seen Trello, maybe like there might be another challenge coming on for draw. I think like it's all, or already the same. Like if you can use Trello, you can also uh, you. It's just take uh, it just takes you a while to be comfortable with uh, draw. Also, it's all it's almost the same. So I think since you you guys have already seen what Trello is and how to use Trello you are or you are almost and already comfortable with other tools also is that okay colleagues 
Okay. So, Kasami, you can continue. Okay, <clears throat> thank you, Ikram. Uh, it was a nice presentation, and I appreciate that. Uh, maybe uh, I was I supposed to re uh, ask two questions. The first question is already uh, raised, and uh, about the Jira and Trilo. So, because as you said, Jira is widely used for project management. So uh, rather we can we could uh, train this Jira. We took the training for Tirilo. So I was supposed to ask you why we took why do we don't took this Jira training. So I already have got the answer. The second question is maybe regarding the project management. If I am not uh, mistaken, uh, I think uh, Agile is a project management method. Yeah. Yeah. So is this the only method for project management? If it's not, mm -hmm. uh, why don't we uh, teach us the other methods? Because method by itself has their own advantage and disadvantage. So uh, maybe to compare and contrast by ourselves in the future, if it's, it's better if you can give us the other methods, even other than of the agile, in my opinion. Okay, so like in project management, in project management, we have a lot of different methodologies. But I I was focused in agile uh, because like it's mentioned in your challenge document. And when you are when you guys are if you are not familiar and when you guys see the agile methodology, you might be confused. So like I was more focused on that because of that. But like other than uh, agile, we have a lot of methodologies. We have also included uh, resources, so you can check from the challenge document. But just to have a highlight, we have a waterfall, um, we uh, a scrum, and then uh, Kanban. We have a lot of different like methodologies. So uh, we have also included in the resource, and you can check that. Uh, you can read from the resources. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Tarifa, you can continue. Tarifa? Okay, thank you. Uh, actually, I'm in a public transport uh, and I couldn't be able to follow all the sessions of the tutor. Maybe I hope you will uh, upload the recording as soon as possible so that we can uh, see it and uh, you know understand all things but in terms of the questions i have uh, one question like uh, regarding those tools like uh, you already mentioned uh, trilo and also the uh, jira and microsoft so which one is recommended for which type of project for example there are a lot of projects like mainly the education project a health project, agricultural uh, project, and so on. So, which one is recommended for what type of the project? If there is anything to mention like this, you are welcome. Thank you. Over to you. Okay, Terefa, I, I it's a good question, but uh, I don't think like we divide uh project project management tools based on uh, sectors like agriculture sector health sector and educational sector i don't think like we do that uh but we can divide them based on the project scalability uh, the project size whether we have uh, a project that's complex or a simple one uh, or like a project that needs a lot of communication between the teams or just an update from the team so it might be dependent on this uh, like on this specific uh, criteria not on the sectors so like for jira you can Use it for any type of complex project also. It will just help you to have a, a good tracking of the project and what the teams are doing and to analyze also the team's performance or uh, what uh, what was done during the, the sprint or the whole timeline of the project. And then for Trello, it's, it will help you more like to have a good communication between each other and uh, each team members uh, so that uh, like it's a simplified task board so it will uh, it will help you to have a good 
uh, interaction between each other, uh, specifically when you when you are implementing a small to medium sized projects and for Microsoft project, it will help you to have a detailed project scheduling and uh, resource management. So like I have tried to uh, specify it over here. So like for Trello, we have simply it's a simplified task board so individuals can see their tasks and then make it like uh, done pro in progress or it's uh, to to do like it's to be started um and then in microsoft you will have a detailed project scheduling and resource management and then for draw it will help you to manage sprint tasks i hope it answered your question Karafa. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so do we have another question? Atsanami, you raised your hand. Yeah, you can continue. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, I want to ask questions concerning the Gerard Trello and uh, the Microsoft projects, uh, the as tools for the distinct. I want to ask, uh, can, can, can we use the three of them in the same project or is there uh, a specific one that goes for one, which project and what project is that? Then the methodology, the, can we use the three for, uh, for instance, the agile type, uh, methodology type of uh, projects? So that's, I'm a bit confused about that. The, the, the Trello, Jira, and the, the Microsoft project, thank you. Okay, Arsanami, I'm glad you raised this uh, question. Okay, so like the Draw in Trello and the Microsoft projects, they are the same type of tools, but you need to like, uh, in order to understand which to apply, first, uh, since they are already the same tools, uh, you can just select one which you are comfortable with for your project, and then you can, uh, deep down like study about their functionality difference and a lot of like uh, differences between them so that you can understand which one to use and then uh, as I have already said it will depend on your uh, skill and your uh, your uh, when you, when, whether you are comfortable with a tool or not just to select one they are the, almost the same tools they are just same project management tools you can like we have the same applications right for example uh, telegram and then messenger i think they have their differences but at the same time you can just uh, you can have a direct communication with your friends and other uh, people that you wanted to interact with so the uh, if you wanted to choose from one from the three I think like Jira is more like uh, more used for complex projects also, but you can also check on Trello. They are, as I have already said, the same tools. So whether if you are comfortable with Trello, you can go on with Trello and uh, avoid using uh, other tools. Uh, that's all your interest. But yes. considering a little bit. Uh, digging for uh, which one to use for your specific type of project is uh, a better way to go on. Okay. Okay. So do we have another question? So if we don't have a question, we can wrap up the session and uh, some type of reactions from you guys. Uh, Okay, Sanami, you can continue. All right, sorry. The 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 the, the Trello. Uh, I want to ask: the, Is it the same with the Trello the training we tutorial we had before, or this Trello is different or from it? The Trello we will use for the project man uh, management here. Is it still the, the same Trello? Yeah, it's the same Trello. It's the, it's the same Trello. Okay. Okay. So, but, Having the basis of that one, you help with this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can use trailer. Okay. okay. So have a good, uh, have a good day for all of you guys. Uh, just again some reactions, thumbs up, and then, uh, good luck.